Welcome to the Ask Dr. Maya show, a medical show that is designed with you, the healthcare consumer, in mind. My name is Dr. Maya. I'm a board-certified internal medicine physician, and I'm here to answer all your medical questions. As a matter of fact, we all, including myself, are medical care consumers. And no matter how sick or healthy we are, we all need good, accurate medical information. And that is why I'm here to provide you with that excellent, up-to-date medical information that you need. And next to me is my co-host, Thomas. How are you? Good. I'm so enthralled with your uh, opening speech there. This I was, that was wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at watching you as a viewer, as I always do. I, I'm in awe of you, truly. Oh. Well, uh, Dr. Maya, uh, or Maya, as you say, I should call you, uh, yeah. we get so many wonderful questions from this show, of course, Ask Dr. Maya, and also from uh, DrMayaMD.com. One question that we get quite often are from viewers who want to know your personal story. They want to know what uh, inspires you or has inspired you to create your own successful practice, host your own television show, become a medical authority on the web. Would you mind uh, enlightening us for a few moments about uh, the specifics of your personal journey? Well, Thomas, that's a great question. And I am so fortunate to be a doctor right now because it almost didn't happen. Yeah. Um, I knew at the very early age of 10 years old that I wanted to be a doctor. I had witnessed uh, how doctors and nurses took care of my uncle in the hospital when he was very sick and the knowledge and compassion they offered my family to guide him through such a tragic moment. So at that instant, I knew that's what I wanted to be. Yeah. But being such a little girl, I didn't know the immensity of that dream. Um, my mother was a seamstress. Um, my father abandoned us, and my family were all immigrant workers, so I didn't know the work it would take to pursue that career. But needless to say, I was very insistent. I had a very big vision, and I got myself to UCLA. I did two years of pre-med, and then unfortunately I flunked out. Really? Yeah, so it was a little step back, but I realized on reflection that um, that happened not because of my intellect, is that I stopped believing in myself. I lost the dream. Mm -hmm. And then um, I actually thought it was a lie. And I went to work um, in the real world and I did all kinds of jobs. I was a secretary, I was a dental assistant, I was a customer service rep, and I always tried to climb the career ladder and never succeeded. So I had to take another inventory of what was going on in my life. And then I realized that I never gave myself a chance. You know, I ended that dream prematurely. So I said to myself, I could at least get my bachelor's degree. And I went back and I started um, school at University of California, Irvine. And I had a counselor who said, I could guarantee that you'll get your bachelor's degree. But if you want medical school, well, that's another story. So um, I went to work and I did really well in school and my dream started coming back. Wow. And uh, I was such a good student that I had the professors coming to me and said, have you thought about medical school? Because your grades are very good. You should think about that. Sure. And so then I became more empowered in my dream and I went forward and I graduated from UCI with a bachelor's in science. <laughs> then I went to the Medical College of Wisconsin and got my medical degree and then I went to USC and received my uh, internship. And now I have my own successful practice here in Glendale. Wow. Yes, so it's always a blessing. And I strive to treat my patients with compassion and kindness. I feel that I love my patients back to health. <laughs> and my medicines and prescriptions are only tools. And um, every day I'm inspired to provide a catalyst for people to make changes in their lives that are going to be helpful and that's going to bring out their own innate healing. And like I said to you, Thomas, I really believe in the holistic approach to medicine, mm -hmm. the body, mind, and soul. And these are the things that excite me and keep fueling my passion to continue. So that's well, the short end of it. That is fantastic. And it's working for you, right? I mean, yes. you're doing what you love it's to do. Me a lot and of having, being so passionate about medicine. Yeah, I know your patients, some of your patients personally, and everyone says you have such a wonderful bedside manner. So that's just you. You're truly, you're loving those patients uh, uh, tremendously. 
Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I think that's all we have time for in today's episode, but um, I cannot thank you enough for answering our viewers' questions and mine as well. Well, thank you, Thomas, for selecting these questions. And please remember to send all your questions to drmayamd.com. And I promise that I will personally answer all your questions. If not on the show, I will email you the answers. And that's all for now. I'll see you shortly in another episode of Ask Dr. Maya. By the way, my friends and patients call me Maya. I hope you will too. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.